guys welcome to an academy this is our fourth video in this course and in this video will be we will learn about the alerts the javascript events and the functions right so let us start with our very first topic which is javascript alert so a javascript alert is a simple message by the browser in order to notify the user about something right so many times you go to some website and you can see this type of pop-up that comes in your screen right so they are javascript alert and they simply notify you about uh, something that something according to the different positions of the different websites but yeah they are used to notify the user okay so they are known as javascript alert and uh, and we just have to write a very simple code for them which is the alert right which is the which will be followed up by the parentheses and in that you can write any message in the inverted comma right here i have written hello and you can see the output will be hello okay now before we see a example of the javascript alert let us understand one more very important topic in our javascript which is the javascript events okay so a javascript event can be executed when an event occurs like when a user clicks on an html elements etc so in order to execute code when a user performs an action on an element we can add javascript code to an html event attribute right so what is a javascript event okay so we have some event attributes in our html right so what is an event so whenever a particular action is performed by the user on any element or on the web page right the event can be called using HTML event attribute and we can perform a particular action right so they are JavaScript event for example as soon as the page loads this is an event okay so on load is used when a page loads in the same way when a user clicks on something so for that we use on click event in the same way when someone put a mouse over an element we use on mouse over and in the same way we use on mouse out if it takes the mouse out of that element the same way there are so many elements or so many events in javascript we will look at the event portion more in our dom when we'll study the dom right in our javascript which is the document object model but for now here are the main events that you can see right so this is the these are first example for today and you can see this is a very simple html page okay now this is my html closing and opening and a closing tag this is my body tag and here i have just written a simple paragraph okay and now you can see in my body tag i just want as soon as my page loads uh, alert should show and it should show hello okay so as soon as the page loads the browser should show an alert okay and we can simply do that using on load on load is used when you want to perform an action as soon as the page loads now here you can see that in my body and i used it and as an attribute which is which we know which we say it as an event attribute and on load this particular code will be executed you can also write all types of code here but the better way is to call a function we can simply write a function that we are going to study in our later slides you can simply call a function and we can use that function or call that function in the in in the uh, with the help of html event attribute right so let us see the example now whenever you will run the code using the browser and uh, as soon as the page loads it will show this alert and you can see the message hello as we have written the message hello in this code okay so in this way we use the html alert and html alert and the javascript sorry html event in the javascript alert okay and perform some action okay so what we understood is that event is a particular action that is performed by a user okay so for example let us say I have a heading with a color red and I want that as soon as the um, user clicks on that heading the color should change to blue right so I can simply use the heading tag I can use the HTML event on click okay so I will use the on click here I'll use on click and after that I'll change the 
I will select the CSS property and change the color to blue. So as soon as the user clicks the heading, the color will be changed to blue, right? So in this way, we can use the HTML events and different with different types of variations, right? So these are the HTML events. Now these are last topic for today, but before, which are, which are functions. But before that, let us have another example, right? Here you can see this is my HTML opening tag and HTML closing tag. Here is our body section and here I have written a code for the button, right? This is the simple default button, right? I use the button opening tag and button closing tag. I use the type button and after that I used an HTML attribute, okay? We have used the type attribute and here we are going to use an HTML attribute, HTML event attribute which is on click, right? So what it means is that whenever someone clicks on the button, right, it should prompt, hey, you want to click me again? Yes, then press OK. So this is the message that will be shown in our prompt. So what is the prompt? It is a simple message box or message box that you can write your own message and you can press yes and it will, the value will be submitted to a particular value. Okay, so we will see how the prompt in a, JavaScript works okay. It's similar to the alert okay. Here you can see the example and you can see the output of the example, right? So here's my Google Chrome, the page, right? We have our button. So as soon as I click on the button, it will show up prompt okay. So prompt look like, looks like this okay. So the prompt is showing a message hey, you want to click me? again yes then press ok and here we have written the same message okay now here i have written yes and as soon as i press ok the prompt will be gone okay and it will be a simple web page in this way we can use the prompt and the html event attribute for providing different variations to our web page so here is our last topic and that is functions so what is a function? A function is basically a group of code. Okay, so let's say you want to use a particular code in your JavaScript portion, right? You want to use a particular code in three, four, five, six, seven places, right? So you have two options. You can do two type of things. First of all, you can write the same code in all the places, or you can use or you can make a function and write the code in that function, and you you can call that function anytime you want and anytime you want that that particular code should be executed you can simply call that function right and that code will be executed in that position right so in this way we can use the function it simplifies our code it reduces the size of our code and it is very easy to remove the bugs okay and it's a good practice to follow the follow to write the function in our programming language okay when we code so in this way we should we use function so a function begins to work when someone calls it okay so when whenever we want that particular code to be executed we will have to call that function okay simply we write the name of the function and that function will be called with the name of the function we will see the syntax okay so first of all we will write function after that the name of function and we will use the curly bracket and in the curly bracket we will write the code okay and we will write the code in the curly brackets. We also have some parameters, okay? So what are parameters? We will see it in the example, right? So we will see what are parameters and arguments in the example, okay? Now, parameters are the name listed in the function definition. So here you can see we can write the parameters. Well, the basic syntax of writing a function is this. First of all, you will write a function in the same way that I have written here, you will write function after that, you can use any name of the function by following the rules that we use for our variables, okay? So you can simply write the name of the function and in the brackets or in the parentheses, you will write the parameters. So if you want to, if you want to use the parameters, you can only write the parameters else there's no need for them. You can only use them if you want them, right? So here are the parameters if you want them and you can separate as many parameters as you want okay so we will see an example that how it works arguments are the real values which are received by the function when it is invoked right 
when first of all we will provide the parameters and whenever we give the pure value for example i want to add two values right so here i can use the function add and here in parameter i will be using uh, digit one and digit two right and if i want to add them right i will simply use i will simply give the if i want to add two and four i will use when i call the function two comma four that means the digit one is two and digit two is four and in the same way that they will return a value which is six also as i said return value it means it solve the and it execute the code and whatever the result we get it returns the value to us okay in this way we can return the values now with the help of function we can use single code multiple times and it's a good practice to follow function and in the same way it's very easy for us to solve the errors and bugs with the help of or when we use the functions okay so let us see a working example of function here is our example number one okay now this is my script tag in my head section and i have used the function after that the function name and this is the parameter okay you, if you don't want to use the parameters you can simply not use any parameters now i want to function that should return the area of a triangle okay so i want my function to i want my function to solve the area of a triangle okay so here in our body section i use the button which is a type button and on click attribute and whenever someone click on that button this function will be called right now in my function i use the function name as find area right this is the name of my function and i have given two parameters so parameter one is base and parameter two is height why i have taken these two parameters because the formula of area of triangle is half times base times height right that's why i have used base and height you can use any name here you can use any name of the function you want right you can use the name of the parameter whatever you want but here i have taken base because and height because it's easy to recognize what we exactly want now in my function in the curly brackets i have i have taken a variable which is area right this is the variable okay and uh, i have just provided the formula which is 0.5 times base times height right and this is the formula for area of triangle so after the multiplication whatever the value we get it will be given it will be assigned to the variable area and we can simply alert the variable area now in our body section here you can see i have on i have called the function in my html event attribute and i have provided two arguments now here are this is my parameters that i want the two value and this is my argument that i am giving two value now i am telling that i am telling to my function the function that the base is 2 and the height is 3 and solve that function with respect to these two values right now after that my function will take these two value now it is considered that the base is 2 and the height is 3 and after that it will put the base and height here and you can see after solving this it should print 3 okay and it will alert the message the area of triangle is 3 right so we have solved the code here it's very simple code for in the button you can use on click attribute and after that we just call the function now let's run the code and here you can see when i click here when i click on my button this will be the alert will show this message okay the area of triangle is 3 and as we expected the answer should be 3 and here you can see the answer is 3 so in this way we use the parameters we use the argument we call the function and we design the basic function to find the area of the triangle if you don't want to use the parameters you can simply leave it you can simply use the brackets okay you can simply use the brackets and you can not give any if you don't want to give any arguments you can simply leave it as it is and you can return the function right we will see all of them when we use different types of codes in our upcoming lectures right so this is all for this video right in this in our next video we will learn more about the logical operators and all of them and uh, also we will cover the dom portion in which we will cover all of this and uh, yeah i hope you all like this video thank you very much